Marvel's new Iron Man, Ironheart Explained movie. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has been around for nine years now, and it's safe to say that the MCU is one of the most successful franchises in Hollywood history. The first film was a box office hit with over $1 billion worldwide, and there are now eight more movies in production. The series has become so popular that there are even plans for a ninth film starring Spider-Man. The latest addition to this universe is Marvel's new Iron Man, Ironheart Explained movie, which will be released in theaters on April 26, 2019. This new superhero movie follows Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr., as he battles his old friend Thor Chris Hemsworth and Loki Tom Hiddleston while trying to find his place as a father again following his tragic death at the end of Avengers Endgame. In this article we'll discuss what makes this movie unique compared to other MCU films so far, why it needs to be made and where it fits into the timeline of events happening throughout multiple franchise. MCU's new Iron Man Ironheart Explained movie. The MCU is one of the most popular superhero movies of all time, and it's not hard to see why. The stories that they tell are always compelling, and their characters are some of the best in film history. However, there are some things that make these films unique. One of those things is their focus on character development over action or spectacle. This is especially true for Marvel Studios Phase 3 films, which will be more about character building than anything else. One of these characters is Tony Stark Iron Man Robert Downey Jr. He was introduced in 2008's Iron Man and has been a mainstay ever since. In fact, he's actually been in every single MCU film so far. That's right, Iron Man has been in every MCU film except one. That movie was Captain America, Civil War where we saw him team up with Captain America against Thanos Josh Brolin who was trying to collect all six Infinity Stones to destroy half of all life in the universe. Ironheart is a superheroine who appears in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. She first appeared in the film Captain America, Civil War, played by actress Elizabeth Olsen. She is the superhero identity of Helmut Zemo, who was introduced as a villain at the end of Captain America, Civil War. The character was created by writer-editor Stan Lee and artist Don Heck, who first appeared in Tales of Suspense No. 50, June 1963, as an enemy of Captain America and the Avengers. He later became a supporting antagonist for Iron Man and the rest of his superhero teamings for several years before returning to his villainous ways once again in Secret War No. 2, November 1991. Ironheart is one of several female superheroes that appear in Captain America, Civil War, other characters include Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson, M's Marvel, Kamala Khan, Wasp, Evangeline Lilly, and Scarlet Witch, Elizabeth Olsen. Iron Man is one of the most iconic superheroes in the Marvel Universe. He's been around since the 1960s, and he's been portrayed by several actors over the years. But now, he's getting his own movie. The new Iron Man movie is called Ironheart, and it takes place after the events of Avengers, Endgame which we already know. The film will star Black Widow as its lead character, but that isn't all that unique. The MCU has featured many female heroes so far, including Captain Marvel, who have led their own solo films. But what makes Ironheart so different? According to director Drew Pierce, who wrote Ant-Man and the Wasp, there are two main differences between this film and other superhero movies. It's about an actual woman and it's an origin story for her character instead of a prequel or sequel. So hello guys, my name is Nina, Alok's friend. And you are watching Alok Sane YouTube channel. If you like the video, like it and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, I suggest you to subscribe to our Alok Sane YouTube channel.